Welcome back to more Jade Empire. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing all right. So over here is Baker Bay. He's been getting beaten up by some thugs whose leader is in this building. And we're going to go talk to her. We got hired by Baker Bay's fiance to uh, take care of business. Let's talk to this guy. This here's a private club. Members only. I need to speak to Ai Ling. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Go on in. They'll unlock the door for you. Alright, let's go. Okay, we're, we got the save. Uh, is there any cool stuff in here? Doesn't look like it. Be careful. Trust no one in this place. We are a long way from your idyllic little village. We got a, some gigantic sticks of incense over here. That's empty. Okay, here we go. We might end up fighting all these guys, and I do not have any chi. Here we go. Hopefully we can talk our way out so, of this. I hear you helped out Baker Bay today. Gave my boys a bit of a lesson, didn't you? You'd think after all the beatings I gave them over the years they'd be used to losing. But they're still taking it pretty hard. Maybe the humiliation will be good for them. So, what's the deal with you and Bay? Everyone thinks that Bay and that little seamstress make such a nice couple. But Bay already promised to marry me. Really? He never said this. No, I bet he didn't. Wouldn't want to go around telling people how he left me high and dry, would he? But the fact is, Bay promised to marry me long before that seamstress batted her brazen little eyes at him. He didn't even have the decency to tell me himself. Even now he'd rather get beaten up every day than face me, or he sends someone in his place, like you. Now, Bay said that he had not spoken to her for years. And he's totally afraid of you. I may not be a delicate little flower like Lon, but I don't want to run this gang forever. Someday I want a husband, maybe a little house, kids too. Bay promised to give me all that. He promised to marry me, and now he's trying to weasel out of it. But a promise is a promise. I won't forget that, even if he tries to. Interesting. Now... We did meet two people in town that are actually looking for a wife. I think both of them would be terrible matches for her, but uh, let me, let's me let bring Bay here and yeah, okay. then we'll figure it out. If he has the guts to come here and face me, I'll talk to him. But I'm not going to let him weasel out of his promise. I'll go get him. Lan, what are you doing here? I figure we better get all the secrets out, Bay. If Lon's going to marry you, she should know what kind of man you really are. She said there was something I need to know, Bay. What's going on? What is she talking about? Eileen says that Bay promised to marry her. What? Bay, how could you? I didn't. It's a lie. I haven't spoken to her in years. Not since we were kids. Don't pretend like you don't remember, Bay. It was summer, and we were sitting on a little raft catching fish. I was upset because Li Shan had called me ugly. I was crying, so you took my hand and said, I think you're pretty, Ai Ling. And someday, when we're grown up, I'll marry you. What? But that... that was years ago. We were kids. We were only six years old. You can't hold me to that. Hmm... I f yeah, I mean, they were just little kids. Kids say all kinds of things, Eileen. Remember when you took my frog and I called you a bully? You swore you'd never speak to me again. But that same day you gave me the frog back, you said you'd never, ever, ever do anything to make me unhappy. Kids always say things like that. It doesn't mean anything. It meant something to me, babe. You were the only boy who didn't tease me, the only one I liked. You promised to marry me, and you're going to keep that promise. Uh, hmm. Lan and Eileen should fight. No, I don't think that's going to work. 
Okay, wait. Eileen, you said you'd never make Bay unhappy. Well, yes, I did say that. But that was when we were still friends. Now he pretends like he doesn't even know me. He's changed. So did you. <laughs> yes, but... Well... You're right. I know you're right. Faye's right. We were just kids. I guess... I guess I can't hold him to his promise. You win, Lon. Faye is yours. If I had more, I would gladly give it to you. But my family isn't rich. This dowry is all I Thank have. Thank you. Please, take it with my thanks. Glad to be of service. Wait, what else is there? That's it? No, okay, thank you. You've done so much for us, and we've given you so little. Wait, I know. We will name our first child after you to honor your memory. I'm glad everything worked out for you two, and I'm... I'm sorry, Bay. I don't know what came over me. When I heard you and Lon were getting married, I just snapped. It's okay, Eileen. I hope... I hope things work out for you. Come on, Bay. Let's go. Alright, cool. Oh, we got more open palm points. Ah. I'm gonna break this pot. Oh. I got a boathouse key. I thought... Okay, alright. What's up? Oh, I can't go up the stairs. What's down here? Just want to look around for a second. Okay. Obviously, this is where the boats go. Remember, I'm still looking for the, um... Is that everything? Okay. My body is healed. The scrolls for the Iron Palm and, uh... The Viper. Can't break that. What's going on, buddy? You got something to say, you say it to Eileen. She's in charge okay, here. Okay, let's talk to her. I think we can find her a husband. I hope things work out for Bay and Lon. After everything I put them through, they deserve it. I don't know what came over me. It's just... Bay was my last chance to have a family. My only chance to find a husband. When I heard he was engaged, I realized I'd never get out of this life I've created. You can still find a husband. What respectable man would ever want to marry a girl like me? Even the Lummoxes in my gang would only do it because they're afraid of me. <laughs> this town is short on eligible bachelors as it is. I mean, there are a few guys out there I know of, but none of them would be interested in me. I have a reputation around town, and having my boys beat up Bay didn't help any. Any half-decent man would probably run if they saw me coming. I could help you out for a price. Huh. You really think you can pull this off? Tell you what. You find me a decent husband, and I'll make it worth your while. My, uh, business ventures have been very profitable. But don't think I'm desperate enough to settle for just anyone. I've got my standards. And I'd have to meet him first, of course. No, I am not going to marry her. Uh, tell me about the town bachelors. Let's see. There's Rue the bosun, but he's nothing but a drunk. My boys have had more than a few run-ins with him over the years. He's definitely out. Hmm. Schumann the craftsman is single. I don't know him that well, but he seems like a good man. He has a home in the southwest corner of the town. And then there's Yaru. He used to be a sailor traveling the empire, but now he's looking to settle down. He might be a good catch. Spends most of his time in the tea house. Anyone else? Not living in town, and Tien's Landing doesn't get a lot of visitors. But if you find someone looking for a wife, bring him by so I can check him out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Alright, anyway, I... You seem to have gotten over me pretty quickly. The only reason I was interested in Bay was because I figured he was my only chance of ever finding a husband. And I knew he was a decent guy. It's not like he was the love of my life or anything. He just seemed like a logical choice. There's not a lot of options in this town. Yeah, small town. Uh, okay, I'll be back once I find you a husband. Yeah, right. The pickings in Tien's Landing are mighty slim for a girl like me. But if you find someone, just bring him back so I can meet him. And, well, good luck. 
All right, let's get out of here. Uh, where is the exit? So, of the of the guys we met, we met the guy that's just outside here. Uh, he's not the brightest guy around. The the big guy, uh, he's like right here. And then we met the guy in the tea house, but he, yeah, big Tian. Um, we might think about him, and then there was a guy in the tea house, but the guy Yaru, the sailor, seems like he might be the one we want. Now, we want to go this way. We still have to... There was that merchant just back up the road that wanted us, someone to get his, um... His memento. I'm a captain. You're not a captain. Oh, hello, ladies. Oh, yes, I am. Where's your captain's hat? Well, where's your captain's hat? I'm not a captain. Okay, then. O okay. The other girls say I charge too much, but I'm <laughs> worth it. Uh, okay. Beggar. Dock worker. We need to find, um, Tong. Ooh, this... Even a village as small as this has a place to hide its undesirables. Yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, look at her arms are really skinny. Look at... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Anyway, that's Jiang. She pick. Where is Tong? It... This must be it. Oh yeah, we are not by here. Oh, not this guy. I need to look for Tong. Okay. Who are you? Hello. You do not need to speak with me. I am just Merchant Xi Yang's assistant. Perhaps someday I will be Merchant Xi Peng, mightiest merchant of Tian's Landing. But for now, I am just an assistant, not worthy of your honorable time. Okay. These guys are not Tong. There's a beggar. Who's this guy? Dock worker. What? Where is this guy? He was on the map. Uh. Yeah, there's a little. Oh, I can't get to it. Oh, Merchant Chiang. Well, where's Tong? All right, he must be at the end. Cause Tong has the thing for the merchant, and then we can get a big discount on stuff. Sailor. This must be it. Stop right there! I gave you two extra duty. Get back to that galley and start cleaning. We don't have to listen to you, Ing. You're a captain without a ship. She's nothing but a landlocked house now. I will discover a way to free this ship. Until then, you'd better follow orders. I've had enough of you and your orders. Now get back in that ship! I'm your captain, understand? You're still the captain, for now. But if you don't get us out of this town soon, you're going to have a mutiny on your hands. Then we'll see what's what. Man, okay. What's going on, Captain? If you've come to complain about my men, I don't want to hear it. When Minister Shen gets the great damn clothes, we'll be happy to leave. Until then, we're stuck here. Uh, who are you? I'm Captain Ng. This is my ship, the Lucky Knight. She's a fine vessel, or was. But now that the great dam is open, the Lucky Knight is stranded here along with me and my men. We're sailors. We don't belong on land. If we could just get our ship back on the water, everything would be fine. But that won't happen until someone finds a way to close the dam. Well, I might just look into this for you. I'll close the dam. The moment I saw you, I knew you were the fearless sort. I hoped you would offer to help. It shames me to need the help of a stranger. Must be something in the way you carry yourself. Everywhere we go, people ask you to do dangerous things. Remind me not to go anywhere with you. I'm not a rich man, but my reputation, my ship, and my men are worth everything I can give. Close the dam and free us, and I'll give you all the silver I have. You won't get too far if you don't speak to Minister Shang first. 
The dam is located in the ruins, but a pair of massive gates blocks the way. Only Sheng has the key. Right, I already have the key. Excellent. The key will get you into the ruins where you can close the great dam. I hope to see the water rising soon. Good luck. I'm not used to needing help from others. It's hard for me to say this, but... Thank you. Zoo, why are you talking back like that? That's... rude. I mean, we're not just doing a test. I mean, he was going to pay us. So, yeah. Alright, now where is... Guarding Lynx? Who are you? Hello there, stranger. I haven't spotted you around Tian's Landing before. You've come at a bad time, what with the dam being open and all. Regardless, it's good to meet you. I'm Darting Lynx, the acrobat. Unfortunately, I'm not putting any shows on in Tian's Landing, if that's why you're here. That's an interesting name. <laughs> Let me tell you, it raises a few eyebrows at first. That's why I tell people I'm an acrobat up front these days. I travel around the countryside putting on acts and sometimes teaching people a few tricks. Hey, now that I think of it, you're a warrior, right? I may not be putting on any shows here, but I could teach you a few techniques to improve your balance and speed if you're interested. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm interested. I'd be happy to. I'll be leaving Tan's Landing someday soon, and Silver always helps the trip go smoother. Let's see what I can teach you. Oh, what is this? Okay, so it looks like we we get some stuff and lose some stuff. Swallows grace. Conditioning of the body. Lose a little chi. A little too much chi. Serious focus. This one gives you everything, but it's 4,000 silver. What about these? Eh, they're no good. Hmm... Can I sell you anything? I can. I will not be using either of these flawed ones. Sell. Sell. The slick gem, I probably won't use either, but we'll hold on to it for now. And the charm, we can get rid of that. Ah. Uh, we'll sell this too. I want to get this this good one, the balance of nature. To be one with your art, it must be your entire world, your only focus. But to lose yourself in that world is also a serious failing. If you balance the needs of your art with the needs of your inner self, you can achieve true transcendence and clarity of purpose. We're buying it. We're buying it. What else do we need the silver for? Awesome. Oh, we're glowing? Okay. I, I still don't know where Tong is. There's a guy over here. Oh, wait. Scholar Six Heavens. Are you Tong? Please? Thank you. What do you want? Can't you see we're busy drinking here? Gotta wash away our sorrows. What do you mean? It's no fun being trapped in this cow. We don't know nobody. We ain't seen our families in months. And now we're stuck here. <laughs> That'd drive anyone to drink. Hmm. Uh, about this figurine. Figurine? You mean that play statue? Pretty little thing. <laughs> I just borrowed it for a while. I didn't steal it. Why did you take it? My ma used to have figurines like that. I ain't seen her in a long time. I really miss her. I just borrowed the figurine to remind me of her. I love that guy's eyebrows. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, let's talk. Your mother would not like you taking someone else's things. Oh, jeez, now you got me feeling all guilty about my ma. Here, take the figurine. I don't mean it cost no trouble. I just missed my ma is all. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Don't cry. <laughs> uh, seriously, are you crying? 
I ain't crying. I just, I just got something in my eye. I, I gotta go back to the boat now. Come on, boys, let's go. All right, we got the clay figurine. We're good. Can I open this door? Why, why are they shut and will never open? I don't understand that. Why is that a thing? All right, we're gonna open up this barrel. We're gonna talk to Scholar Six Heavens now. Finally, someone stronger than these cowed peasants. This town disgusts me. I am Scholar Six Heavens, and I need someone who possesses great strength and skill. What I do not need, however, is someone who walks the way of the open palm. I can read in every movement that you would protect the weak and coddle the Wait, poor. Wait, what? I don't need this to solve your own problem. Amusing. You encourage me to solve my own problems. That is exactly the attitude I need to aid me in my project. If you make your actions match your words, I will reconsider. But I can see by your actions that you understand the way of the closed fist. I promise to make it worth your while. Otherwise, I will not waste any more time with you. Yeah, I keep doing nice things. I gotta stop it. I gotta stop it. I mean, I've done it all for money. <sighs> Just gotta stop being nice. I think we might have to destroy the dam. And then get the money from uh, that merchant guy. And maybe that will be enough close fist. Where are we on the chart, anyway? Yeah, we're a little bit getting into the blue. Hmm. Where are you, courtesan? Okay, I think that's going to do it for today. We have done uh, a couple of good things. We helped Ai Ling, we helped Bay and his fiance, and we're going to help Ai Ling get a husband. And uh, we're going to study the way the closed fist and get with that guy. And we're going to help this captain over here get his ship out of here. Look at this. This looks terrible. Alright. Well, that's going to do it for today. For today. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.